Yahoo YouTube. I am Super Genki. In today's video, we're going to talk about why is it so hard to be positive. Now, I've been working on this research paper that I'm really interested in writing between cognitive dissonance's relationship with loneliness. And today's big thought, like today's my thought of the day to say, is positivity is a novel concept. Now, what do I mean by novel? I'm sure we've heard this idea before of you only grow, you only learn outside of your comfort zone. But I don't think just saying that, I mean, we can understand it, but I don't think just saying it is enough. You know, what does it mean that we really only grow outside of our comfort zone? Let's think about our comfort zone for a second. On a day-to-day -day basis, how many, co how many positive conversations do you have? How much positive intake do you take? How, much, how many positive videos do you watch a day? Now compare that to the relative number of other videos and other conversations you have. That, in my opinion, creates the novelty. In the day-to-day -day trenches of adult life, and I assume we're all adults here, and even if you're a kid, it's the same thing, we don't encounter much positivity. And that's what makes it novel. That's what makes positive thinking outside of our comfort zone. And it requires a lot of work to work outside of our comfort zone. So I can understand why some people might not want to actually put a lot of time and energy into investing themselves into learning how to think positively. But that's the key. If we want to learn how to think positively, we can. There are lots of videos, lots of books. It's really easy to do it in the modern day lexicon. However, I think we should always come at it from the angle of being outside of our comfort zone and preparing ourselves to be outside of our comfort zone. You know, I've been learning a little bit about how habits form in the mind, and I think habits form so that we can consciously think about other things and not have to think about what we have to do. Imagine if we had to think about every breath we take. Imagine if we had to think about every time we, I don't know, what's another thing that we have to think about that we don't have to think about? Imagine if we had to think about every step we had to take. You know, these are like, variations of habits that we've internalized and don't have to think about doing so that our brains can handle other tasks. I think positive thinking is not one of those habits. So we have to think very consciously and heavily in order to do it. And that doesn't allow us to do the things that we have already been doing for a long time, like talk to our friends or go play video games. Have you ever tried to play video games in a positive manner? I mean, I do, I have, it's a lot of fun, but that's because I like it. That's because positive thinking is already my habit. And I think this is what creates the friction and identity between who we were before and who we want to become. And there's a lot more like votes for the person we are before because we know that person, right? And the person we want to become, there are not that many votes for it because we don't know who that person is. We don't know the outcome of the changes we're gonna make into our life. And that's what makes being positive scary. We just don't know what it's gonna be like once we become more positive. But like Joe, Dr. Uh, Dr. Joe Dispinoza said in his video, he thinks that the best, the best, he thinks that the best way to predict the future is to create it, rather than use your previous experiences as information to judge, to think about what your future is going to be. Seek to create your future, to make it along the way, because that can be the best way that you can predict what's going to happen. And coming at it from a positive thinking angle, if we think more positively about the future and disassociate ourselves from our past, we're probably gonna be positive in the future, right? Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button. Let me know I'm doing a job, man. It's hard, YouTube is hard stuff, and your likes really help me out. They help me think that I'm doing the right thing. Leave a comment, because I love responding to your comments with Genki Energy and Positivity. I know I always say that, but honestly, I need to get better with responding to comments, but I will when I start seeing them. You guys can change that. Um, what's it called? What else? Share this video with your friends because positive thinking is honestly speaking it's such a novel thought. It's underrated, overlooked by everyone else, and it's hard. But most importantly, even if you don't do any of that stuff, I just ask keep watching these videos, man. Every time you watch a video, you're taking in a little more positive thinking into your daily routine. Every time you watch a video, you are converting, you're, you're confronting your comfort zone, right? And the more you do it, the more likely you are to get the desire to actually make changes in your life and that leads to 
a change in identity, right? So, yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Just, I'm just not gonna do that thing with the camera. I'm just gonna put it off.